Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a great new feature found in the beta version of Photoshop. You know, I'm probably mischaracterizing it by calling it a new feature. It's really an improvement of an existing feature. And to show you how much it has improved, I'm going to be using this feature in the current version of Photoshop. That's Photoshop 2025. And then I'll use it in the beta version of Photoshop so that you could see how much it has improved. Now, this new feature has to do with selections. And everyone that has been demoing this new feature so far have been using an image of a bicycle because it is very difficult to select a bicycle because mainly the spokes are so fine. So it's really difficult to select a bicycle. So as you can see, I have this image of a bicycle. This is an Adobe stock image, and I am in the current version of Photoshop, Photoshop 2025. And as I already said, we're going to be making a selection of the bicycle. We're going to be using Select Subject. One way to get to Select Subject is just to select or use any selection tool. Just tap the W key on your keyboard, and you'll get one of three selection tools, either the Object Selection Tool, Quick Selection Tool, or Magic Wand Tool. It doesn't matter which one is active at all. Any of these three could be active, and when they are, you'll have a button up here, Select Subject. Now, this is important. This new feature is a cloud feature. So you have to go to this drop down and you make sh you have to make sure that you're using cloud detailed results. By default, it will be on device quicker results. So change it before you use it. Now, if you want it to default to cloud detailed results like mine does, what you need to do is go to Photoshop preferences on a Mac that is under the Photoshop 2025 or if you're in the beta version of being the Photoshop beta menu and you would go down to settings. On a PC, it's under the edit menu. When you go to settings, go over and down to image processing. Right at the top, you'll see select subject and remove background. Make sure that this dropdown is set to cloud detailed results and click OK. You may have to close Photoshop down and reopen it for it to take effect. Either way, once you do that, this button now will default to cloud detailed results. So let's do it. We're in Photoshop 2025. We're going to go to select subject and it will send the image up to um, Adobe servers and it will do a selection. And at first glance, it looks pretty decent. It looks like it selected the spokes, at least most of them. Let's go to select and mask and we'll get a better look at it. And when I go to select and mask, you'll notice I'm on the white view. You'll notice it missed most of the spokes. It missed a chunk of the handle here and part of the seat there. So it's missing quite a bit. And if I output this to a new layer with layer mask, click OK, you can see there's our clip out now. We're missing part of the chain, a lot of the spokes, part of the handle, part of the seat. And if you want to look at the, um, the actual mask all by itself, you could see what we ended up with. So let's now use the same exact image and do the same exact thing in the beta version of Photoshop, you can see I have a selection tool selected. I have this defaulting to cloud detailed results and we'll click select subject. Now again, it's going to send it up to Adobe servers all over again, and it's going to do a selection. And at first glance, it looks pretty much identical to the other selection, but let's go to select and mask. And on the same white background view, you could see that this is much improved, much, much improved. And we'll output this to a new layer with layer mask and we'll click OK. And you'll notice it's pretty much perfect. Now, one thing I want to make a note of because someone will probably notice it in the um and mention it in the in the comments, there might be a hole in the seat right here that it missed. I'm not a hundred percent sure if there is. It's kind of hard to tell. But either way, I think this is um and I think you'll agree this is a much better selection and clip out in the beta version than we got in the current version, Photoshop 2025. So that's that. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't often need to clip out a bicycle to put in a different scene. So let's try something that might be just a little bit more real world, something that at least I would probably do. Let's go to this image. This is an image I took of the Brooklyn Bridge, and I set this up ahead of time so that it is the top layer. 
And below it, I have an Accudrone Sky. Uh, these are skies that you could purchase from a company called Accudrone. Those of you that watch my videos know that I've done several videos on Accudrone Skies. I think they're the best third-party skies on the market. I'll have a link to them in the description below this video along with a discount code if you choose to purchase their skies. What I want to do is I want to select the subject, the Brooklyn Bridge, and basically clip it out so that that sky is now behind it. So let's do that. Uh, make sure, just double check here, we're using cloud detailed results. We're in Photoshop 2025, not the beta version. We'll click select subject. And again, it's going to send this image up to Adobe servers. It did a selection. Let's go to select a mask. And it failed miserably. I mean, it just failed miserably. Uh, there's not a way that I could easily add the missing parts to it, at least not in my view. So we'll, I'll put it to a new layer with layer mask and click OK. And there's, this, there's what it did. So it's obviously not very good. Let's go to the beta version of Photoshop and go to that same image, same setup. I have the Brooklyn Bridge as the top layer, and below it I have that Accudrone Sky. So we're again, we're going to just double check. We're using Cloud, Detailed Results, and we'll click Select Subject. And let it do its thing, and then we're going to go to Select and Mask. We have our selection. We'll go to Select and Mask. Now, this is a little more of a real-world situation. You can see it, it did okay, but it didn't do, it's much better. Let's put it this way. It's much better than Photoshop 2025, but it's still not yet perfect. It didn't select in between here, but I actually could fix this. Let's go to a different view. Let's go to a view on layers so I could actually see the sky that I want to use behind it. And what we'll do is we'll get this second tool from the top. This is the Refine Edge Brush. And we're going to add to the selection. I'm just going to get a pretty big brush. And I'm just going to come in here and brush the areas it missed. Get this real quick. Get this over here. Get in there and get the side. And very quickly, now it's perfect. Okay, now it's perfect. And we'll I'll put it to a new layer with a layer mask. And we'll click OK. And there's my clipped out image. If you want to just see the mask all by itself, there's the mask. And look, it really did a nice job. I would not have been able to do that with the current version of Photoshop. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, that's not the way you'd replace a sky in Photoshop. And you're right, it isn't. So let's do this the way you would actually replace a sky in Photoshop. Let's go back to the history panel and go back to the open here. So I'm back to my original image. And let's... Um, we're in the beta version. Uh, actually, I should go. I want to show you it in the um, regular version of Photoshop. So we're going to go to the History tab, and we'll go back to the Open. Okay, now we're in the current version of Photoshop. So if you had my image, you could do this right now. We're going to go up to uh, Edit, and we're going to go to Sky Replacement. This is the way you would do it, isn't it? So we'll go to Sky Replacement. It's going to replace it with the last guy I used. And you'll notice it does it beautifully in the current version of Photoshop. So whatever algorithm, whatever like routine they use for selecting the subject is totally different than what they use for selecting the sky. And you can see that even with the current version of Photoshop, I could replace the sky in this image just, just fine. Let's see if I can find that same one. It's the same sky I used before, but it's, I, it's hard to... Uh, the other one I had zoomed way out so we could see the light rays more up in the sky. This one here, I can't really do that. I could go to, um, let's see, scale, and I could zoom it out this way, but it just makes it bigger all the way around. It's not the way I had it zoomed. But as you could see, it's definitely working perfectly in the current version of Photoshop if you use sky replacement. So I just wanted to mention that only because... I know for a fact someone in the comment section is going to say, well, what if you use sky replacement? Well, if you use sky replacement, it works fine. But I think you'll agree that just generally select subject in the beta version of Photoshop when you use the cloud option works better than the current version of Photoshop, Photoshop 2025 using the cloud option. So that's really what the main gist of the video is about, not necessarily replacing a sky in an image. So it's just selecting subject. And I really do think this uh, feature is awesome. And I 
think it's going to probably find its way into Photoshop 2025 sooner rather than later because it seems to be working pretty well. Now, with that said, it's it's kind of funny to me thinking of how difficult it was to do compositing not many years ago. I think around maybe 2013 or so, I was using Photoshop CS6, if I remember right. And I actually purchased an entire compositing course from Dave Cross. And it was probably like 30 videos and a bunch of images you could use to do compositing. And it was really a process to select a subject and to clip it out, to put it in another scene. Now it's just about just a couple clicks. It's so much easier and it's going to get easier and easier and easier. So that's it for this video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.